Hello everyone and welcome to the Everything AI and Law podcast with Tolu Lokbe Awiyami. This episode is for the EU AI Act, an in-depth overview. And so let's get right into it. AI systems are classified according to their risk levels. Unacceptable risk AI is strictly prohibited which includes systems like social scoring and manipulative AI. High-risk AI systems face stringent regulations. Limited-risk AI systems have lighter transparency obligations, and the minimal-risk AI remains unregulated. The prohibited AI systems These are systems utilizing subliminal or deceptive techniques, exploiting vulnerabilities, engaging in biometric categorization, social behavior evaluation, real-time remote biometric identification systems, risk assessments for criminal offenses, creation or expansion of facial recognition databases, and inference of emotions. These are prohibited. And of course, there is the exception that applies to specific law enforcement objectives. Next is the high-risk AI systems. Now, this is categorized under two annexes, Annex 2 and Annex 3. Annex 2 includes AI systems used in various industries and applications such as machinery, toys, recreational craft, lifts, equipment for explosive atmospheres, radio equipment, pressure equipment, cable weight installations, personal protective equipment, appliances burning gaseous fuels, medical devices, and in vitro diagnostic medical devices. Now, the Annex 3 includes AI systems in critical societal areas such as biometrics, critical infrastructure, education, employment, public and private services, law enforcement, migration control, and administration of justice. Providers of high-risk AI systems must establish a risk management system, conduct data governance, prepare technical documentation, ensure cybersecurity measures, and adhere to various other requirements. Now, to general purpose AI, GPAI. GPAI models must comply with technical documentation, copyright laws, and provide training data summaries. Providers of systemic GPAI models have additional obligations, which includes model evaluation, tracking and reporting incidents, and cybersecurity measures. GPAI models are considered systemic when the cumulative amount of compute used for its training is greater than 10 to the power of 25 floating point operations per second. Now, to the obligations and applicability. Now, providers who are developers as well of high-risk AI have the highest level of obligations. These obligations apply to the providers intending to market or deploy high-risk AI systems in the EU, irrespective of whether they are based in the EU or in a third country. And to the users of these AI systems, Users deploying AI systems in a professional capacity, these people differ from the affected end users. So these professional users of AI systems have some obligations, though less than the providers. These obligations 
apply to users located in the EU and third country users where the AI system's output is used in the EU. Some exempted areas from the scope of the AI Act. AI systems developed solely for scientific research and development. Research, testing and development activities conducted before placing AI systems on the market. Personal, non-professional use of AI systems by individuals. AI systems released under free and open source licenses unless they are classified as high risk or fall under specific titles. The implementation timeline. Implementation timelines following the enactment of the AI Act vary for different categories of AI systems. Six months for prohibited AI systems, 12 months for general purpose AI, 24 months for high risk AI systems under Annex 3, and 36 months for high risk AI systems under Annex 2. Thank you so much.